Ever wondered how big things are in Terraria, like in real life units? Well, I did and I made a short about that, measuring the size of the Eye of Cthulhu and the Terrarian. Apparently some of you wanted to see this for the other bosses, so here is. If you didn't already know, the essence of this is that we are measuring the sprite size of Terraria bosses to determine their size. As a pixel game, Terraria's pixel size is standardized and very easy to measure, making this process simple. Barring mobs having a scaled sprite, which is rare, the sprite size always lines up with their in-game size. To do that, we need to get the size of each pixel. Each block in Terraria, which is 2 feet long as measured by the compass, is split into 8 graphical pixels. Doing some basic math, this means each of our pixels is a quarter foot, or 3 inches long. This will become the basis for all of our measurements. I will be giving these values primarily in Imperial units, because that's what Terraria uses, and this video would be twice as long if I had to narrate a second metric value for everything I say. However, I will provide a metric translation on screen for the rest of you. It's quite unfortunate that Terraria defected to the dark side. Anyway though, let's get on with it. The first boss to Eye of Cthulhu's eyeball is 55 pixels in diameter, or 13 foot 9 inches. With tendrils it extends to a maximum length of 20 foot 3 inches, or just over 6 meters. This means the Eye of Cthulhu is around 2 stories tall from tendril to iris. Compared to the Terrarian's rather diminutive stature of 5 foot 9, or 5 foot 0 when bald, it's truly a massive boss. King Slime is just as similarly terrifying in size. As widest, he is 83 pixels, or 20 foot 9 inches wide, and as tallest, he is 19 feet from foot to crown. In the For the Worthy Seed, though, King Slime is twice as large as he normally is. Even in this state, he's not the largest boss in the game, but since his size is both in width and in height, For the Worthy King Slime is probably one of the most imposing bosses yet. The reason why I said the King isn't the largest is because of the Eater of Worlds. Obviously, worm bosses are longer. At 67 segments, including a longer tail and head, the normal mode Eater of Worlds is 1,561 pixels long. That's nearly 400 feet. On Expert Mode, it gains an extra 5 segments, increasing to 1,676 pixels, or 419 feet. For context, 400 feet, or roughly 122 meters, is longer than the short side of a city block, so take that as you will. Compared to the Eater, the other pre harmed bosses are rather diminutive in size. Skeletron's head is only 12 foot 9 inches long, the Reign of Cthulhu is only 21 foot 3 inches long, and even the enormous Deerclops is only 25 foot 9 inches tall when facing the camera. The only other pre harmed boss I would say is impressive is the Queen Bee, and that's specifically because it's a bee. At 16 foot 6 inches tall, or long, it is slightly larger than your average honeybee. In fact, it's about 400 times longer than the average honeybee. Even the small bees it creates are massive, with the small bees being over a foot long and the big ones being two feet long. Imagine that. Then there's the wall of flesh. The wall part of the wall of flesh is dependent on the size of the underworld, but we can measure the eyes and mouth. The fleshy eyes are 12 feet tall and 16 foot 3 inches long from tendril to iris, which is a bit smaller than the eye of Cthulhu but by no means tiny. The mouth is a bit larger, 12 foot 3 inches tall and 17 foot 3 inches long. You can also note that the teeth on that mouth are each over two feet long. With that size, it's no wonder that it gives you the horrified debuff. I would also be amiss if I didn't mention the tongue of the wall of flesh, which isn't a boss, but is able to drag a player from literally the other side of the world if you have god mode, giving a maximum theoretical length of over 17,000 feet. It's not technically a boss, but hey, it's worth a mention. Next, there's the matriarch Queen Slime, who, like her male counterpart, is massive. 20 foot 3 inches at widest, 17 foot 9 inches from foot to crown. Yes, that's a little smaller, but then she brings out her wings. This over doubles her length, stretching around 50 feet long. This means that Phase 2 Queen Slime is longer than King Slime, even in its for the worthy state of enlargement. As for the mechanical bosses, it's about what you expect. Skeletron Prime is the same size as Skeletron, 12 foot 9 inches, though he is 3 inches wider, I guess. The twins in Phase 1 are literally the same size as the Eye of Cthulhu, though Retinazer in his second form gets a little bit longer from his laser. 22 foot 9 inches from Dio to Tendril versus the standard 20 foot 3 inches. Then there's the Destroyer. I bet some of you probably skipped this part in the video since obviously he's the longest boss. At 82 segments long, the Destroyer beats the Eater in size comfortably, measuring 477 foot 3 inches long, or 58 foot 3 inches longer than the Eater of Worlds. But it gets longer. Like King Slime, the Destroyer also has a trick up its sleeve in For the Worthy. It gets twice as long in body segment length, and each segment is longer around 25% larger in fact. This equates to a nearly 250% longer length, 4,686 pixels or 1,171 feet and 6 inches. This is far and away the largest boss in all of Terraria. That's around 2,000 bananas for scale, pretty long if you ask me. 
Now that that's out of the way, we wind down with the relatively small bosses of Terraria's late game. Plantera is 14 foot 6 inches wide and 19 inches long, and surprisingly her second phase isn't actually any bigger. Assuming a regular Snapdragon has a bulb length of a few inches, Plantera would be around 50 to 60 times wider than a regular Snapdragon flower of her kind. Golem, with all his fists contracted, is roughly 26 feet tall, a bit taller than Deerclops. Duke Fishron is 18 feet tall with all his fins extended, or 24 foot 6 inches long, quite a decent size. Still smaller than its fiery counterpart though, the Wyvern Betsy, as she measures well over 40 feet long just on one axis. The Empress, meanwhile, has a maximum wingspan of 48 foot 3 inches, still less than that of her hollowed counterpart, the Queen Slime. This means you can say the Queen Slime has the largest wings in the game, and yet, unlike Empress, Mothron, or Duke, still can't use them yourself. Next up is the Lunatic Cultist, which is, of course, the smallest boss in the game. At his absolute biggest, he's just 30 pixels tall and 21 pixels wide with his arms extended, which translates to 7 foot 6 and 5 foot 3. Note that even though this guy is tiny, he's still much taller than our Terrarium, though I guess that's due to his quivering robe and tall mask. And lastly, we've reached the end of the video, the screen-filling Moonlord. While it's difficult to get exact measurements in the Moonlord because he's always moving, he roughly fills the screen at 150% zoom when extending his arms, which is roughly an arm span of 106 tiles or 212 feet. Hopefully you enjoy this little trivia nugget of information. If you're part of the 80% of my audience who aren't subscribed, I ask you to subscribe. Also, here's some videos of mine I think you might be interested in. Either way though, thank you for watching, and hopefully I see you soon. Good day, and goodbye.